Focus here at 11. I'm John Paul. And I'm Kelsey Cairns. The Bluff City has seen more than 100 homicides just this year, and a community is hoping they can stop the violence. That says kids head back to school. Local 24 News reporter Jalen Sochek is in South Memphis for us to give us details on the 16th annual Stop the Killing Back to School initiative. Well, here at Gaston Community Center, this annual event sets out to get kids ready for the school year. But all those free school supplies are really a reward for just coming out because this drive also doubles as a rally for preventing violence. In the 16 years of hosting this event, organizer C.V. Moore hasn't slowed down. If anything, he's just getting started. After his own son was killed, Moore vowed to stop violence in his community. He and volunteers are still busy packaging back to school bags full of supplies for 1,200 kids and their families. Moore says this event is about spreading an anti-violence message for kids by educating them about the impacts of senseless killings and having them an opportunity to engage with local leaders. We saw a record number of homicides in 2016 when 228 people were killed. It's not about school supplies per se. It's about a message of nonviolence. And I, that's when I want them to hear from the mayors, the county commissions, the city council, our leaders, and let them know that you can aspire to be one of these leaders. The Stop the Killing Back to School Drive is still accepting donations for the event tomorrow. It'll kick off here at 11 a.m. until 2, but registration will start at 10. Reporting in South Memphis, Jalen Sochek, Local 24 News.